in a different way. I'm okay. I mean, you went in a different way. I mean, of course, most of you would have a career high in that. We go four for four from the field. Of course. But that's great, so great shot. And she came in. Big shots. You know what? Mo, you've been carrying us all year. And you can you can hit score 11, and we can still win by 11 on the road, missing free throws and everything else. Bay had your back, didn't she? Way to fill it up, baby. Great job. But Coach Blair, your defense. Yeah. Guys, you plugged up so much, even the end. <coughs> Not the three corner, but the baseline drive by Marsha. I didn't think it was his. But that baseline drive, you left and stopped, and they missed it. Like, you guys really came up huge defensively when you needed to. You know, we didn't prep much zone, but the zone won the game. You guys, great job. Just talking through it. You're smart. We've got great depth. People are playing out of their minds right now. So I would think that, like, I don't know what's going to happen today between Duke and Carolina. And I don't care. Because we're a top. It ain't no, 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 can't knock us below that, all right? We'll take whatever seat they got, but we're one or two, right? Yeah. No, no, no question. No question. <laughs> We have celebrated this whole ride, every win, every win, um, no matter who it was. Uh, that's why this is so rewarding, because we, we didn't try to act too cool for school. We didn't try to, um, you know, say, oh, it's just another game. We absolutely knew it was on the line today. We absolutely knew it was one of our rivals, and it was an away game. And they're the toughest team in the league. They're tough as nails, Georgia Tech. They're just tough. And... Um, you know, no one was going to give us anything today, and we had to go get it. And I guess that's what we needed. And I'm really proud because we were off our game a little bit. We were turning the ball over like crazy, but, you know, that's, that's credit to Georgia Tech. But we've grown up so much. Our composure is unbelievable. And, you know, Shanice is struggling a little bit from the floor, but those three assists she had in the second half are at the highest level. I mean, you know, that was that kind of broke their spirit, the, the dump offs to Stroman and the the flips in the, against the press. So, you know, it's just little things like that. And Bebe starts the second half and just says, you know, basically I'm taking this game from you. And she has a steal and a tie up. So just let them know, like, we were here to take this game. And we were going to take this championship and we really wanted it. And I'm not going to talk down on that. I'm going to celebrate that. I love this team. I love their passion. I love how hard they play. I love how they're there for each other. And, um, you know, they cover up for my mistakes too. They just all cover up for each other's mistakes. We just do. I'm going to make a horrible call. And then someone hits a three, and, and I wasn't coaching. I mean, I just got some great players. And um, I got to celebrate that, too. So uh, we're happy. The two threes, were kind of, at, you know, when you guys are up 46-40, and then a skip pass to you, you hit a three, and there's another one, you do a ball fake, there's another three. It was kind of to put that game right where you wanted it, I think. Yeah, well, it went. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you didn't hesitate. I mean, they were right there. Second guess, you're going to miss it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you mentioned that Sharice's shooting was a little off. was off a little at the beginning. Uh, obviously, her shooting was not. I mean, the way that she stepped up for you right. when the rest of the team wasn't shooting as well, well as sometimes. Sharice wasn't necessarily off her game. She was on the bench. I mean, she's in foul trouble. And that's always a, you know, it's 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 tough struggle to figure out, do we need her, do we not need her? What saved the game for us is that I, I was able to keep her on the bench because of somebody like Selena Archer, who had eight points, which is made me match the total for the year, and I'm not kidding, okay? But she came in there and played a great role, and Stephanie Gardner had a big three for us. And that day, I got Mo's back. And Mo's an incredible leader, one of the most special people you'll ever be around. Uh, I, there's no question she can do everything on the basketball court. But it was time for one game this year that the other people had to step up and really help her. Now, they always have them. They have each other's back. These two take the pressure off each other. They're special. They're so different. They love each other. They talk through. And they'll say, I need you now. And, you, you, I, and help pick me up. So they have that relationship. But I'm sorry, you saw the rest of the team say, oh, no. no. We've been riding you all year, you two. And if you need us, we're coming through. That is why I'm so proud as a coach. I had freshmen out there in big-time moments making big-time plays just to represent for these two that they love so much. Raquana, the, uh, it seemed that you understood their offense. The first two possessions, of the half, you 
Did you guys know, you know, you took the one high post pass, you stepped in front, and then they threw it to a wing, and then you stepped around and got that. Is that did you see that offense coming out? Yeah. <laughs> Just got to scout. Listen to Coach do exactly what she says, and something will happen. And the, because that kind of got you some momentum in the second half on a home, somebody else's floor. Mm-hmm. Those two steals and going the other way. Mm-hmm. But you saw, you knew the offense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pretty familiar with this team. Pretty familiar. We play them twice minimum a year, and it's been three a year a lot of times since I've been a coach. And, you know, they're calling the play, we're calling right back at them. So the coach, assistant coach, you know, is there at Gibson Day, and Gibson Keeks, and my two assistants that scout, are phenomenal, and they're very smart. And when you're a little bit tired, you need some little extra advantage. We play a lot of minutes with these kids, and they need something extra, and when they can use their brains to maybe save their legs a little bit, they're going to do it. And I, one thing people are missing, and I'm really excited that you saw that, people miss the IQ of this team. People say, oh, Miami's so athletic, and they just come after you. Well, listen now. We're pretty smart, and I want some credit for that. I want my players to be known as really, really smart. Uh, some of the reads and the checkoffs, I mean, we don't just press. I mean, we have a lot of different presses, and we play, play personnel beautifully. And that's something that I think that um, people just go, oh, she's got those two guys that are just so unbelievable. They are, but they're smart. Coach, I'm sure someone's brought this up in the past before, but the 93 squad, they went 30-2. and two. I mean, are you right. thinking about, is that in your... Am I all right now or not? No, but I already, I already got three text messages from alumni on that team. They are so excited and so proud. I already did. I already checked my phone. And those are the first three I got from the people who played on that team. They'll say, way to go, Lady Kings. And I'm like, we're coming after 30. You know, 30 would be nice. That would mean a lot. They win the Big East? They won a, a they won. lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, they did. That year they won the Big East. I guess so, because I only lost like one. So they won the teams. Big East. I don't know if they won the tournament, too. Uh, I don't even know if they have one. Katie, your team was picked eighth in the preseason. You, did you feel like your team was, you know, better than that? Is this was it a matter of proving that you were better than that? What did this team? You know, they were with me at media day, and we just kind of looked at each other and smiled and said, "Okay, <laughs> like really." I think a lot of people were elevating um, teams because of the, the recruiting classes that were coming in and the freshmen that they had, and there are great freshmen in this conference. I remember very clearly saying, "Hey, I would like give the nod to the returning veterans when you rank people. I would." because games come down to better plays. And we played a lot of close games this year. And I, you know, this is the, I think I have one timeout left tonight. But usually I got three with two minutes to go. And people, I, I don't have to burn timeouts usually because my team is that smart. Because they've been in so many, they've been in every situation you could be in a basketball game. And they're just juniors. And that's because of that NIT run. It's because they played 35 minutes a game as freshmen and sophomores. They just played a ton of basketball together. And um, I just thought, you know, don't discount veteran returning. I mean, we returned five people that started a lot of games for us, and I just kind of quietly took it and thought to myself, well, the games are close. This year we're going to win them. Did you think time for the ACC championship was, I mean, was that something that you were thinking about at all? Or was, is, are you a little bit surprised at how, how, how big the jump is? To do it in one year, it looks like we did it in one year. Um, and I, I like for the kids to talk because I, I don't need to talk so much. But it looks like we did it in one year. But we did this last year. We just lost very close games. We had like five overtime losses and stuff, but we were good and everyone knew it. And it didn't shake us. We knew we were good. We just we really got some really weird breaks and stuff, and we kept playing through it and stayed. So that NIT run sort of validated us in terms of we went to Michigan to beat Michigan, Providence at Providence, we beat Florida. You know, we beat Florida and Florida State in the same year. You do that at Miami, you know, that's a good season right there, beating Florida and Florida State. We did that last year. But I think people just kind of looked at the record and didn't look at the progress. And so I think we're just being rewarded for yeah, a tremendous amount of progress in two years. Two years. Shanice, I know it's frustrating that you're on the bench for staff and you want to play, um, but your team maintained the lead. Um, what's that like when you go in the half and you know you're coming back in the second half and you still have the lead? Um, it takes, I mean, it, just, it takes a lot of pressure off me. Um, it's, it's great to sit there and actually cheer my, my teammates on. Um, you know, I don't like being on the bench, but that's why I love having McQuan Williams on, on my team. I mean, when she gets hot, nobody can guard this young lady. I keep saying it. Nobody in the country can guard McQuan Williams. Um, and I love, having her, I love having her on my team. I won't have to play with anybody else in the country. But like Coach said, we had Selena Archer come in and give us strong minutes. Um, SG hit a big, big three. Um, and it was just fun to actually cheer for them. Um, we know they're out there and they know they're cheering for us, but they're stepping up. Where was the uh, ACC media day? Greensboro. Greensboro. So you're, you're all up in front of all the media when, it, when this eighth ranking come, you know, this preseason ranking. How did that, how did, how did it, were you in front of the media that day and kind of go to each other? That's not going to happen. Yeah, we just looked at it like, 
Okay. Like, so we, you know, we, we understand. We don't make bold statements and say, oh, we, you know, we got right. We, we never, we don't care what other people think. I mean, I don't, you know, that, we don't care. I mean, we know what greatness is, and we know if we're far away from it or if we're close to it, and we just define ourselves by that. And so whatever someone thought about us in the preseason, we just kind of let it filter around, just look at each other like, wow, okay. I mean, we hadn't done anything better than 10th, so of course we picked it, okay. You know, but, you know. We don't get into all that like fake motivation stuff. There was uh, there was not a safe spot on the floor for a while. There it was pretty physical. There were people flying around, <laughs> and I was. But you guys didn't kind of run away from that. I mean, you kind of kept attacking. Yeah, it's I mean, the one it. referee down on the baseline, she wasn't blowing her whistle at all, and. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a plant? No. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty. Uh, down and dirty out there for a little while. It is. It's Miami Georgia Tech. Right. Every time Miami Georgia Tech plays, it's two coaches that coach hard, uh, get in their kids' faces, ask them to you know dive on the floor, ask them to take charges, ask them to just play their tails off. And uh, so every time we play each other, and we're the two teams, and either us or Georgia Tech usually leads the ACC in steals. We want the ball from each other, and if you have it, we're going to get you get it from you. And if it's a little shove here and there, it's going to happen. It's part of the game. Um, and so it's a very physical game, and. Um, you know, I, like somebody like Sylvia Bullock, which just takes the beating after beating after beating every night, and she hung in there tough tonight too. And so, yeah, Stro got hit in the throat, and I was mad. I thought she wasn't in the huddle. I grabbed her shirt, and she was like, <laughs> she couldn't even breathe. But I was a bad coach. That was bad for me because I didn't know she was hurt. I thought she was just not in the huddle.